In this video, we're actually going to have two breakfasts. One is a more traditional breakfast using cleavers with chorizo con huevos. The other being a simple drink you can make to cleanse your lymph system. Are you ready to see what's cooking? Come on! So with cleavers, unlike most types of herbs, you do really, really have to thoroughly clean these because they're sticky. And that means that everything outside sticks to them, including things like uh, the little white dandelion seeds that fly around and leaves of other plants. So you have to go through them one by one and you have to check and make sure that nothing weird is stuck to them. And then I always, always, always wash my cleavers. So today I'm just going through picking off anything that's bad. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate them because because most of the cleavers start out nice and flexible like this and then at this point you can actually eat the stalks but as they get bigger they're more rigid and they're really hard uh, it's really hard to get that uh, get them to be flexible in your food um, and their texture is gross so once they get big we're going to just take the leaves off I'm going to do something else with the leaves And there we are. I'm gonna do that to the whole thing and I'll be back. So I've got the leaves in a pile. I've got the stalks in a pile. Don't worry, they're not gonna be wasted. I have a plan for them. I'm gonna toss these in the colander, give them a good rinse. Then I'm gonna give these a good rinse and then I'll be back. And now we've got a pot of water heating on the stove. Once that is at boiling, then we will boil the cleavers for 10 minutes. The water is boiling, so we're just gonna toss the cleavers in. Looks like a lot now, but trust me, after 10 minutes, they will not look like so much. Gonna give these a good stir. And then I'm going to get out the ingredients that we're going to need, which are chorizo and huevos, eggs. And I'm going to cut the end off of the chorizo. Go ahead and get that in the pan. I think I'm going to cut it this way. And just put it out as a log. So chorizo is uh, Mexican pork and spice blend. It's basically spices, but whereas um, Americans usually have like sage in theirs, um, the chorizo has I think, cumin, paprika, um, maybe coriander. I don't remember what else. It's probably actually on the container I just threw away. And of course the package does not entirely say either. So we're gonna let that boil for the 10 minutes, then we'll go to the next step. It's been 10 minutes. As you can see, the grains are much more tender. We're gonna turn these off, drain them, and start to make our chorizo con huevos. So at this point, you're just going to make the chorizo however you normally would. In my case, I'm just going to put the chorizo into smaller bits. Let it get nice and hot. Probably put the cleavers on top for a minute just so they don't burn at the bottom. We're waiting on the grease to come from the chorizo. We're 
going to wait for this to start cooking. Okay, once it starts to bubble, we're just going to keep stirring it around, trying to make sure that the cleavers get mixed really well into the chorizo. Nobody wants to take a big bite of cleavers leaves. That would be gross. And then we're just gonna cook it a while. And when it's ready, I'll be back and show you how we add the eggs. Okay, now it's time for our eggs. I think I'm gonna add four. We're gonna let that cook for just a second. And then we will start stirring occasionally to mix the eggs into the chorizo. So now we're gonna start mixing the, oh, and we need to break the eggs, I almost forgot. Just gonna mix and cook, mix and cook until it's all done. I will say that I am not Mexican, so as far as the cooking of the chorizo, uh, you should probably watch uh, somebody with better skills than me. But what I am skilled at is adding wild edibles to other foods. So yeah. And now we have chorizo con huevos and cleavers. I probably made some mistakes in the cooking of it and I'm always confused about if I have the right amount of eggs for chorizo, but um, at the end of the day, it's gonna be delicious and nutritious, more nutritious, now that we added these cleavers. So, time to eat. So we're gonna take all of these stems and toss them in this recycled jar from some pickles <laughs> from my husband and we are going to make a drink that I like to drink in the mornings. So basically, I'm gonna break up the big pieces so that they fit in the jar, and also so that the flavor from the uh, stems goes out into the actual water. Toss in those in, and then we're gonna fill the jar with water, put it in the fridge, and leave it for morning. Makes a really good refreshing drink. Kind of reminds me of, of like if you have cucumber water. So sometimes I uh, toss in things like lemon juice just to make it a little better. I didn't mind the drink at all, but my husband was not, he was not a fan. He said it tasted like dirty grass. Um, highly recommend adding some lemon uh, if you have any, but we did not have any lemons or lemon juice. Um, however, I mean, it's, it's really not that bad. And my husband actually really liked the chorizo. You couldn't really taste um, the cleavers. I wouldn't use that much the next time I do it, but overall it was good. So let me know if you try it, and as always, eat something wild.